comes Kobe, a little off balance, but it cuts inside, and one. Kobe Bryant just carrying this team. Hold him over to Kobe. Bryant, a clutch three. The Lakers within one. Come on now. What can he do? Lakers down three. Kobe right here, trying for the tie. Corner draws the double over and Roy over both. It's in for 63. Come on. The defense has not been able to find an answer for him. Talk about taking over. He's been special. This is one for the ages. It's a 65 point game for Kobe Bryant, the second best scoring performance of his career. Seven consecutive losses. Injuries slipping in the standings. Nothing is going right for the Lakers. Will Kobe and company finally get a win tonight? Or will the Blazers add to the Lakers' misery? Dusk in the City of Angels. Just a fantastic day here in Los Angeles. Welcome everyone to Staples Center with the Czar Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. The normal buzz around the Lakers and Kobe Bryant is absent. This team is reeling. Losers of seven consecutive games. Mike, how do the Lakers right the ship? The game plan has to start with Kobe Bryant. Los Angeles needs Kobe to be superhuman in this one. This is the back end of a back-to-back. -back. The team got in late. They are really tired. And for this Lakers franchise, Clark, they've lost consecutive games by 25-plus points for the first time in their terrific team history. And, you know, Kevin, going back to their Minnesota days, Minneapolis, that is, the Lakers have never been blown out this badly in back-to-back -back games. I mean, they're really struggling at the offensive end, failing to get to 90 in each of their last two. They've got to knock down some threes, and as Mike said, Kobe will have to carry the load. Right now, the starting five for Coach Nate McMillan and his very young Trailblazer team. Rookie of the Year frontrunner Brandon Roy is at the two, with Jared Jack at the point. Ime Udoka and leading scorer Zach Randolph are the forwards. And the second overall pick of the draft, LaMarcus Aldridge is the center. And for the struggling Laker team and Coach Bill Jackson, their five, the guard, Smush go. Parker, and the All-NBA force, Kobe Bryant. Sasha Vujicic, a late addition to the starting lineup replacing Luke Walton, is the three. The front line, do-it-all power forward, Lamar Odom. And first overall pick, Kwame Brown. And guys, Kobe switching from the number eight to 24 during the offseason, telling us the change is about growth, a new mentality, maturing as a player and as a man. Yeah, Kev, let's remember, Kobe entered the league at just 18 years old, very young. Bryant had so much success wearing that number eight jersey, three titles, but he is ready for a new era. And I think he'll go. Oh, that was oh, unbelievable. I can't Whoa. believe what I saw. Perfect dunk. Oh. Boy, Kobe wanted to dish out some pain with that one. He put some hurt on the rack there. Mike, Kobe is on a heater of late. Wow. Averaging over 35 points per game during his last six games. It's been a month since he scored less than 25 in a game. Well, Clark, this is a welcome sight for the Lakers. Lamar Odom is out there for L.A. Such a key part of this team, Kevin. I mean, he's been nursing that injured left shoulder. After missing five games, Lamar returned last night in Denver. And quite expectedly, the Lakers lost all those games he missed. Boy, at 6'11", Aldridge makes this look really easy. All he needs is the right positioning, and it's over. That bucket in in no time at all. Bryant's got seven. You do not want to let him get in a rhythm from out there. Roy against Bryant. Goes up the baseline. Roy with it. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Randall. Not sure who he was looking for there. I know the third row definitely wasn't expecting a pass. The Lakers with a quick start to this game. It's a three-point game. Last night in Denver, 
The Lakers fall in 113 to 86 to the Nuggets. L.A. just 3 of 22 from three-point range. Yeah, it was a tough night for the Lakers, yet on the other side, the answer, Allen Iverson, 14 points, 13 assists. Melo had a game-high 26. Denver leaping over the Lakers into the sixth seed in the West. Here's Udoka. Just four to shoot. Jack passes to Aldridge. Shoots over Brown. Aldridge misses. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. Here's Bryant. And it's sent back by Aldridge. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood, you've got to be careful shooting him. Proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. There are very few players who can slow a score of this caliber down. Outside Jack. Aldridge down low. Brown on him. Boy from outside. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. This is the back end of a back-to-back -back for the Lakers, Mike. What's it like to coach in one of these situations? Well, you usually coach the front end like a normal game. You try to win that one. Tonight, you just hope your stars can give you enough minutes. Here's Roy from down low. Rebound by Parker. Lakers leading by eight. Here's Kobe. Connects. He's got 17 in this quarter. Well, they had a plan coming into this one, and they have executed on it perfectly. Yeah, getting out ahead early on by stifling the competition on both ends of the floor. And it's sent back by Odom. The length of Odom shows up at both ends of the floor. Outstanding defense there. Offensive rebound. Round kicks to Bryant. Gets it to fall. 19 for the quarter. They have set the tone in the paint, getting whatever they want. Well, not much resistance, and time if out, things don't out. change, this could turn into a blowout. And Our the first time out of the game, called here for the Trailblazers. Man, what a game from Kobe. This guy is unreal. Jamal McGlure, he's checked in for Portland. Well, Mike, the playoff race clearly in the West, a crowded one. Early tonight, the Clippers won in Charlotte, and New Orleans beat the Knicks. And currently up in Oakland, the Warriors have a big lead on the Timberwolves. It's really tightened up of late. And Clark, really, Los Angeles went from a shoe-in for the playoffs to a team very much fighting now to make it in. They did hit a rough patch, Kevin. There's no denying that. I mean, when you get Portland, the team with the third-worst record in the West at home, you've got to win a game like that tonight. Down low, pass to Roy. And that time, also a missed shot. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. Here's Kobe. Got it for his 21st point this quarter. Their scoring has been a problem. Been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. Roy dishes to Aldrich. Over Odom. Off the left rim and out. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Good! 23 points for him in this quarter. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. This is Phil Jackson's 16th year as a head coach. The current seven-game losing streak is the longest of his career. Hey, look. When you've coached Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, you aren't going to beat too many losing streaks on your resume. But I do know this has been very frustrating for Phil, the Zen master, trying all of his tricks to get this team back on track. The kick out to Jack. Aldridge with a screen on Parker. Jack finds Aldridge. Nice D from Odom. And how about the defense right there? Doing an excellent job bothering the shooter without giving in and fouling him. And the dunk by Aldridge. Great play that time, finishing at the rack. Always nice to be handed two points. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. They lead by 14. Drops it in for 27 points in this half. Boy, oh, it's been all Kobe all the time tonight. What a scoring machine. 
And here's Roy. It's hauled in by Brown. You know, his scoring has just been AWOL this quarter. I'm not sure what the issue is, but his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Roy passes to McGlure. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Blazer substitution. Here's Randolph. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Fighting till the last second hits the buzzer beater right here. And he's got so much confidence in himself, regardless of how much time is left. And so it's Los Angeles. Their lead at 15 going into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Back right after this. Welcome back to downtown Los Angeles, the Staples Center. Second quarter getting started. Lakers leading by 15, and Kobe Bryant currently second in the NBA in scoring. Mike, last year, Kobe averaged over 35 points a game. It was the highest mark, as we know, in the league since Michael Jordan back in 1987. This year, Kobe is at 29.1 points per contest. He's right behind Carmelo Anthony, who is at 29.8 per game. Right behind Kobe, Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas, scoring 28.9 points a night. Should be a fun three-horse race down the stretch. 33 points and counting in this half. He is rolling. Look at Bryant just outworking the inside defense and securing the high percentage shot. Jones finds Aldrich. Aldrich double teamed. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Rodriguez misses the three. Great first quarter for Kobe Bryant. Clark, his team needs that from him tonight. Zero doubt about it, guys, for the Lakers to do anything in the playoffs. They need Kobe to be the best player in the NBA, to play at an MVP level. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. A different look now for Portland. Jamal McGlure, he's checked in for Randolph. Udoka comes in for Sergio Rodriguez. And it's Roy in for Dickow. Here's Jones. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Portland shooting their first free throws of this game. Second team. No good on the free throw. Red Jones. The line for two. And he ends up missing both free throws. Los Angeles leading by 21. The well, Luke Walton was in the original lineup we were given. However, he was ruled out right before tip off. You know, that's a very rare occurrence in the NBA. So, David Aldridge, what are you hearing from the Lakers? Well, Kevin, Luke played for the first time last night in six weeks because of that sore ankle. Now, the plan was for him to play both ends of this back-to-back. -back. However, the Lakers training staff did not like how he was moving pregame. It was their call, not Luke's, for him to sit out tonight. Told Walton he was very upset in the locker room. Kevin? Ah, uh, David, that's really tough for Luke, but give the trainers credit for having the players' best interest. Jones kicks to Roy. Back to Jones from the arc. On the wing, Jones buries it from three-point range. Jones has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Jones has gone one of two from three-point land. Bryant inside, and Kobe scores. It's his 10th 40-plus point game of the year. Another 40-point night for Kobe. This is becoming common for the future Hall of Famer. We've got more than a month, Clark, left in the season, but there is zero doubt that Brandon Roy will win the Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I concur. I mean, Roy's been Rookie of the Month the previous two months. Looks like he'll win it in March, too. Had a knee injury to start the season, but since he's come back, he has been incredible. 16-4-4 four four is what he's averaged. 
He's like a 6'6 point guard, playmaker, scorer. His future's so bright. A 6'6 creator, smooth as they come. Roy is kind of a point forward, doesn't have a defined position. All he is is a baller who makes plays. Brown dishes to Kobe. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Now, here's Roy. Aldridge with... There is the third steal for Kobe. Goes up on the dunk by Parker. Kobe's such a smart defender. He does a good job recognizing when he can make that gamble and come up with the steal. Mike Fratello, this one is too far out of reach. Well, with how this game has gone and this deficit, hard to see them coming back here. Kobe Bryant is cooking tonight. His season high, 58 in Charlotte in December, a triple overtime game. Bryant taking 42 shots, actually fouling out in that third overtime. I time think out, he's got out. a great chance to get to 58 again tonight. Now a timeout called by Portland. It's time to Zach Randolph is checked in for the Trailblazers. Jack comes in for Jones. Blazer substitution. Zach Randolph. Jared Jack. Ryan against Roy. 11 feet away. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Nice job executing inside. When you give Roy these kinds of looks, he's going to cast those in. And here's Kobe from the arc. Oh, that makes 49! Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. It's been three weeks, Mike, since the Lakers won here in Staples in L.A. Back on February 23rd, and that night they beat the struggling Celtics 122-91. Yeah, Boston is 19-45, and last in the East. Kobe had 38 in that victory. They aren't used to this in L.A. These home fans hungry for a win. Now here's Kobe. Tight defense on him. Oh, there's no stopping Kobe Bryant. Tonight, his 15th career 50-point game. And Jack kicks to Yudoka. Deflects the pass. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. Good activity there. Breaking things up. Love the activity defensively. And he wanted to steal it, but still making an impact for his team. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. Yudoka's got himself on the board with three there. The rare three, but Udoka looks settled out there. Bryant, high post. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. That's his first personal foul. First team free throw, good, Bryant. And if you're going to build a shooting guard from scratch, you'd likely end up with Kobe Bryant. And Kobe drops them both. 32 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Jack passes to Aldridge. Now Randolph. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Odom's got four rebounds now tonight. Now Kobe. Non-stop scoring machine here. And again, the Lakers, no good. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. It's another busy night on the 101. Los Angeles shining bright. We're back from halftime with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan from Southern California. Yeah. 
Here's Parker. It has been an odd season for the Lakers, Mike. Two months ago, this team was 26 and 13. They were third in the West, but they've hit a rough patch of late, and it has not been pretty. Just 7 and 19 since that nice start. Scoring outside of Colby has been a massive issue for LA. And off against Odom. Shot clock at five. Randolph can't hit. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. Nice move. Makes it. He's got 58 points. I like what the defense is thinking right there, but you know, Kobe's agility allows him to avoid the contact. Right side, Aldridge. The shot's good. Roy making the play. Roy's got four assists in the game. Taking full advantage of his height that time to get the shot off over the defense. And even if you're right on him, that's a difficult shot to contest. Vujicic dishes to Bryant. They double-team Kobe. Up top, Brown. Back to Bryant. And Kobe's got it! He's reached 60! Tonight has been all about Kobe. He's unstoppable, reaching that 60-point mark. During the offseason, Clark, Devin George signing with Dallas. That means outside of Kobe, every player from those three-peat Laker teams is gone. Yeah, you look at the roster, and it's just Kobe and Luke Walton left from that last finals team in 04. We're seeing this all around the league, though, Kevin. More player movement. It's Roy on the wing, defended by Bryant. Jack surveying the D. Roy, that's a two-pointer. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. I like the fact that Smush Parker can play either guard position. Obviously there, we saw his passing ability. Odom against Randolph. Aldridge with a screen on Odom. Inside. And Aldrich, the basket on the assist by Randolph. Aldrich has got six points in the quarter. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. It's in for Bryant. 64 points, the second most in his career. If a guy gets this open, Odom won't miss him. He keeps his head up out there. And here are the Trailblazers now. The trade deadline passing a few weeks ago, Mike. The big deal was made in December with former MVP Allen Iverson sent to Denver. The answer, joining forces with Carmelo Anthony. Those Nuggets are potent offensively. Blew out the Lakers last night. I have no idea how you defend and both of those guys. You can't blame him for taking that shot, especially when the defense leaves the perimeter that unprotected. It's Bryant, high post. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Jack with it, picked up by Kobe. Jack passes to Roy. Aldridge left side. And the dunk by Aldridge. Well, that is how you make the most of a screen. I agree. Freedom up enough for the emphatic finish. That's oh, Kobe with the triple. 67. A new opponent record against Portland. Outside Jack. Pass to Roy. To the paint. Here's Aldridge. And the dunk by Aldridge. Well, Clark last year was the first season of the draft under this new CBA. The biggest change? No more jumping straight from high school to the NBA like Kobe Bryant did 11 years ago. Yeah, that's been modified a bit, so we're seeing these so-called one-and-done guys. They've got to be 19 and one year removed from their high school graduating class to get drafted. I'm actually curious to see how this is going to change the pro and college game. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Just never lost his concentration or focus there. Udoka taking what the defense gives him. And he's got his first free throw of the game. For the Trailblazers, Ime Udoka. Two shots. First free throw is good. When you look at Udoka's game, what stands out to me is the toughness. 
He backs down from nobody. Jamal McGlure, he's checked in for Aldridge. A tremendous team effort, Mike, offensively from them tonight. Well, they've been unselfish, a ton of assists, plus lots of different scorers out there. Yeah, things you all appreciate. The offensive rebound, the pass to Kobe. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Mike, here we are talking about the NBA this season. It is very clear the West is the stronger conference. The best four records in the league are all in the West. Remember, six of the last eight titles have been won by the Western Conference. The Lakers fighting for a playoff spot. If they were in the East, they'd be in the postseason easy. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. To the middle. Here's Odom. Count it. You've got to let Odom work down there because he understands how to score in close. Randolph against Odom. Randolph with the ball. Seven points in the game. Inside, McGlure kicks to Jack. Pass to Roy. Five to shoot. Back to Randolph. That ball, great assist by Brandon Roy. Nine points for Zach Randolph. Well, I tell you what, the closer to the rim, the more lethal Randolph is. Very effective in this area. Here's Bryant. A second chance effort. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. We are set for the final quarter of play. L.A. and Portland finishing things up here from Staples. Despite pretty much no sleep last night, Mike, Kobe Bryant is having another incredible game. Yeah. Well, he's the reason that the Lakers are up. I mean, Bryant is just determined to end this losing streak, even if he has to practically do it by himself. Nice read from the big man Randolph. Very solid when it comes to finding open teammates. Parker outside. Here's Brown. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Kwame Brown. Two shots. Second free throw, no good. And there's no question Brown has talent. When he's put in the right situation, he can be an effective role player. Pass to Dick out. Randolph, a screen on Parker. Here's Dickow for three. Rebound the Lakers. Kobe's got his sixth rebound on the night. There's the drive. Oh, it's in. He's at 69. An incredible night from Kobe Bryant. It's reminding me of that 81-point outburst last year against Toronto the second most points ever in an NBA game. If the Lakers keep feeding Kobe, I think he's got a shot to get to 80 or more tonight. Count that one. Well, he needs help. Scoring-wise, his teammates need to do something. Odom with the screen for Bryant. Kobe, he's up to 70. An all-time performance. There have just been two players that have ever had multiple 70-point games. Wilt and now Kobe. Pass to Rodriguez. Over to the left wing. They get a hand on it. And Parker comes with the help. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Bryant. Brown with the screen on Jones. Kobe goes in. He's now the 73. Kobe knows exactly what he's doing. Clever, crafty. He's able to disrupt the defense and get what he wants. Well, Mike, there's only a month left in this season. Let me put you on the spot as I love to do. 
Who is your MVP? I'd go with Dirk Nowitzki. His Mavs are 53 and 11, running away with the West. Coming off that finals appearance, Dirk has taken his game to another level. He could go 50, 40, 90. They get it back. A shot by McGuire, no good. Jones against Kobe. Brown with a screen on Jones. Bryant. Brown dishes to Bryant. Back to Brown. The pass to Bryant. They double team Kobe. And Zach Randolph gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. That's clearly a frustration foul. You can see that coming by the look on his face. Taking it out with a foul won't change much. He's got to have a more level head than that. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Udoka has checked in for Randolph. Boy comes in for Jones. And Jack subbed in for Rodriguez. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. In the corner, it's Jack. Passes it to Yudoka. High arcing shot. Good, and Jack gets the assist. Boy, I tell you what, nice work offensively. Jack making the right read there. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Two minutes remain in this ballgame. Two minutes. Driving in. It falls through. Now it's 75. Crazy finish by Bryant, an elite athlete. And so here's Portland. Outside Jack. To the inside. Here's McClure. Takes it off the glass. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. And here is Odom. Right side, Kobe. It dropped through 77 points on the night. Bryant has every kind of shot in his arsenal, including the floater. 116 left green. in the fourth quarter, and they call an illegal screen here. Yeah, the officials won't let that slide. I mean, they're eager to call out those illegal screens as well they should be. I do think he was trying to get there, but you've got to be completely planted. LaMarcus well, Aldridge has checked in for Dickow. Outside, Kobe. Odom with the screen for Kobe. And he drives in. It's good, and that's 26 points this half. They have shown up at just the right time, putting the finishing touches on this game. This run absolutely closes the door on any chance of a surprise ending. That'll do it. And it's got to be frustrating that they're finally starting to play like this, being this one is basically done. Well, hopefully they can take this energy into the next one because I don't see them coming away with the victory tonight. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. Kobe with it, picked up by Aldridge. It's good for Kobe, 81, equaling the second most points in a single game in NBA history. Roy kicks to Aldridge. To the paint, here's Jack. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Boy, Aldridge commands so much defensive attention. There's bound to be somebody open on every possession. And this time, LaMarcus finds it. Clark, no need to shoot. This one is done. And they've got to be really pleased with tonight's effort. Now here's Kobe. Story tonight, another out of this world performance, Mike Fratello from the great Kobe Bryant. Kobe is why this losing skid has ended. Bryant was marvelous, had total control of this game. Looking like the best player in the world. And honestly, Clark, we were just in awe, all of us, of what Kobe did right before us tonight. Hey, it's simple. Sometimes you simply have to sit back and enjoy what you are seeing. Kobe treated us to an all-timer tonight. Basketball history made.
And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, is this the kind of compete level that you're trying to get on a nightly basis? Well, for sure. I mean, it starts on the defensive end. You know, we did a much better job tonight being physical and you know, making our presence felt. And uh, that's where we have to hang our hats. Well, the effort was certainly there tonight. Thanks very much. Kevin? Thank you, David. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. So long.